try my best not to laugh. I wouldn't know. We always laugh. No. In an intro together. I'm behaving. I know. She tries to make me laugh. I don't try. You don't. Anyway. <laughs> See, I, don't, I didn't do anything and you still laugh. <laughs> anyway, welcome everyone to another episode of the Bryce Side. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had a little look around, a little tour of the exterior of the Waterside Meadery because news has come to us that plans have been approved for its like demolition. Um, sad times, sad, time, sad trombone moment. We oh, do enjoy the Meadery, don't we? we? So, do enjoy and the I think it's sad that another one will be fighting the dust. Mm. Dun, dun. Um, dun. There's no official time, although I did find out from one of the like the guys there working in the harbour that he said that if it goes ahead um it wouldn't be until christmas of 2024 so i assume that that's when the lease runs out um because they lease it from cornwall council i, I believe that's how it works out I, I think that's how it is um so it's not an immediate thing but it is i think the writing's on the wall isn't it so we've taken you guys there before we've eaten there lots of times um and we just wanted to kind of Go again. Go again. Go, go again. Go again. Go, go, go again. Go again, shall we? Go again. Shall we go again? Um, basically, because, you know, I mean, we enjoy a good meadery. Um, so we thought we'd I think that's it. Yeah. The end. <laughs> the end. We we'd basically, the so we're going to the waterside meadery. So let's go check it out. just like that we've arrived at the waterside meadery so we're about 15 minutes ahead we did book uh, our meal we made a reservation for six o'clock and it is now quarter two the place opens at six so we'll be one of the first parties to be seated i'd imagine um but yeah so we've got about 15 minutes to uh sort of kill so we'll just kind of hang around in this general vicinity maybe check out the boats and then we'll head on in yeah so a little while back um I posted a video where I had a little look at the sort of external, uh, you know, areas of the waterside meadery because uh, I just wanted to document it because the, the main reason what's prompted us to come here tonight is, um, you know, within, within a few months we did find out that it was going to be, like I said earlier, like in the intro, um, but we think it's going to be around about December 2024, but all this is basically due to be bulldozed uh, and the sheds beyond it. What I'll do, if you want to see that video where I did a little walk around, um, I'll leave a link in the description. If only there was such a thing as smell a vision. Oh, yes. Because, you know, it is pretty. I'm just looking around. <laughs> Very delicious. Okay, the doors have just opened, so uh, we're heading in. Yeah. I love this place. I didn't see it. AJ's just asked, has this place got a swimming pool? Yeah. Right, here we go. We've um, found our table. A sort of uh, regalia here up on the. Uh, like I said, I've filmed this before. I will um, leave a link in the description if you want to uh, check out that video. But um, nice. You alright, kids? Yeah. Yeah, we're rocking today. You're rocking today. Awesome. Loving this like menu book here with this, uh, you know, like this. Um, what would you call that? Like the it's almost like a hinge, isn't it? I like that. Like a wooden binder. Yeah. yeah. Um, the usual sort of info here. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, starters, you know, pretty much the same as, as all the other um, meters really. Um, we've gone with some breaded mushrooms and some fish fries just to kind of divvy up. Um, and then, yeah, chicken in the rough, obviously, that I'll be having. A little bit blurred out there, sorry, let's get a bit closer there. Chicken in the rough. Um, Shelly is going for the smoked mackerel tonight. That's brave of you. Not really, I like that And then to drink, um, Shelly and I are going to share a half litre of honey mead, like the original flavour, if you will. I've just got a Coca Cola to wash that down. Kids got their usual sort of drinks. AJ's got an OJ. And uh, what did you end up with? Just lemonade. lemonade. Yeah, nice. Very posh, AJ. Shovel's pouring out that mead. Hey! Yum, yum, yum. Okay. So you get tiny glasses because it's um, between 14 and 17%. I was going to say, mead is, yeah, it's quite strong and it's very drinkable. Um, and I have seen quite a few people over the years get absolutely wrecked on this stuff. Including so, both of us. Including both of us. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do is access the roof bar. It says bridge bar there. Open upstairs for drinks and snacks. Children, welcome. There's some pirates here. Sort of views. Um, I don't think I've ever really been up um, 
up here, it's the view of the harbour looking down, like the front of the establishment. Yeah, I don't think I've ever really been up here. Some artwork on the wall. And then this is, maybe this could be the front. Maybe this is, yeah, it's like the front, isn't it? Looking at the dock in, and there's the golden painted uh, letterbox for the 2012 Olympics that uh, Helen Glover won. And there is the dolphin, another pub. But yeah, what like, what size that like a little. What is this? I've no idea what that is. Let's have a little look. In here. Ooh, very posh and nice. Yeah, nice. So there we go. So there's a few little um, like seats and stuff like that. Like I said, I've never been up here. Look at this artwork over here. That's amazing. Yeah. They like bringing all their contraband aboard, uh, or ashore rather. It's a very cool piece of artwork. Let's have a little look up, uh, up on the roof. This is very cool. Like I said, I've never ever been up here before. A little place you can just sit and relax. But this would get quite warm in the direct sun heat, uh, sun heat, sun light. Of a bridge bar. So obviously they could serve you, obviously not now, if it's not active now, but they um looks like they could have served uh, beverages there at some point. Alright, let's uh, step out and have a little look. Yeah, what a nice unique view of the harbour. I love that. Yeah. This is really nice. What a nice place to enjoy a, a beverage. All right, another unique perspective there of the dolphin. And then you've got the dock in there. Fun fact, the dock used to be, um, the landlord used to be uh, Jethro's brother. Just a fun fact. And uh, yeah, like I said, never, um, very backlit with the sun, uh, or very bright rather. Never, never been up here before. This is, this is very cool. Again, just to look. And on the side of the building toward the harbour and there's boats. Alright. Right, right let's, um, I think what we'll do is head back in because our dinner should be ready. I'm gonna head back down to our table. Alright. Out of one door and in another. Right, so our starters have arrived. So what did I go with again? The cod fries, fish didn't I? Fries. Fish fries. And you went with the battered mushrooms, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Good? Mm. Like little fish goujons, aren't they? Hot. Right. Apparently they've got a, a new mead which is rhubarb flavoured. But, yeah. um, but this is this is just nice. I just I do just like the sort of like the regular honey mead. I think it is probably my favourite. Mm. Oh yeah. Me, it's very drinkable. It is very drinkable, yeah. Um, you can certainly go through quite a lot of it rapidly. <laughs> we won't be doing that because, of course, we have these. Just looking at the different flavours of mead here. They've obviously got the um, honey mead there. I uh, just trying to a bit blurred out. Let's try and focus. We've got, we've got um, just as original, we've got blackberry, apricot, pear, raspberry, peach, strawberry, cherry, elderberry, cherry, bakewell, rhubarb, ginger, or orange and ginger. I think those last three are new. But what I really like down here is you can actually, for £65 or £70, you can actually buy a gallon of mead. How amazing is that? Just going on with a gallon of mead. I just noticed, is that a hook in the window? It's amazing, is that a hook? Do you think that um, Captain Hook was in there? What was Captain Hook's actual name? That's a bit of Disney trivia for you. James. 
Hook. Is he James Hook? Was Hook his actual name? I don't know. I think his first name was James. Hmm. Yeah. We'll Google it. I'm doing that now. Shelley's just Googled it and he was James Hook. Captain James Hook. Very, um, uh, it's quite a good coincidence that he had his hand bitten off by a crocodile and then he ended up with a hook. Amazing. Lovely, here we go. We've got my chicken in the rough. Obviously the half chicken, deep fried, comes with chips and like a little garnish there. You can get like half and half where you have half salad, half chips. Um, but I always go for the full amount of chips. Um, Shell bars there got the, uh, the chips. Oh, you went for half and half, didn't you? Yeah. And the mackerel. And then you're just sort of dividing up the kids' food, yeah. aren't you? So they're sharing. They're sharing the cod pieces that we have for starters. Cod pieces? Fish fries. <laughs> fish fries. <laughs> yeah, it's not a cod piece. You can only call it a cod codfish. <laughs> not a cod fish, a cod. I know. Yes. I know. I know. I know. A, a, a cod piece. <laughs> but it's not a cold piece, anyway. <laughs> um, okay, enough of that. <laughs> so you might want to blow the food to me because it's very hot. All fresh and delicious from their kitchens. Look at that. Alright. And AJ, oh AJ's just sitting on you for a minute now, isn't he? Um, AJ doesn't really do hot food, does he? So we're uh, letting it cool for AJ. And in good tradition with the um, meadery, you don't get any knives or forks. You don't get any cutlery, no silverware, nothing like that. You just eat with your fingers. Although actually you probably got something because you've got a salad, haven't you? So if you get like a salad, you get given silverware. Uh, but generally speaking, you just eat with your fingers. Uh, for me personally, I always break up the chicken when it arrives. Um, oh, gesundheit. <laughs> um, I always break up the chicken when it arrives because it's piping hot straight out of their fryers. Um, so, uh, hey, you alright? Yeah. Are you enjoying your meadery? <laughs> is it delicious? You're not eating, or is it a little bit hot yet, isn't it? Is it yeah. nice? Oh, by the way, Mama Bear, you've, you've swapped places, didn't you? Because AJ wanted to sit here. Um, but. We... <laughs> um, and is yours good today? I've only got a mini meal. You've got a mini meal? Oh, I see. You've got like a, a separate thing there going on. I've got Some a mini cucumber meal. And, yeah. Nice. Is it good? Thumbs up? Yeah. Start with some of these chips. I think it keeps blurring in and out because the lighting is not very good in here. I could like fiddle around with the settings and you know make it sort of um, make put the settings into like night mode, but I can't bother with that, so it'll be fine. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I like it. You like it? What looking in there? Uh, oh, you've got a big chunk of letters. I gave it to Gave him some letters. Yeah, nice chips. Uh, nice big fat chunky chips. You know what I mean? Nice big. It's too hot. Almost like steak it's chips. Hot. It's hot. Is it a bit hot? Okay, you put it on your plate and let it cool a little bit, okay? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at this skin. Skin goodness. Oh. <laughs> so bad. You know, it's delicious, tasty, but it's, you know, probably not a good health choice. But, you know, we don't come to a meadery every day. So, when here, I'd like to indulge. Mm. That's good, that was a skim. I'm getting to the meat now. I'm trying to put my head so that light isn't like. <laughs> I suppose I could just do this. That would be easier, wouldn't it? Ah. I just I enjoy meat. I enjoy meat drinks. Let's hope that the um, decision to let's hope the decision to sort of you know close this place and have it bulldozed is reversed because this is an awesome place to come and eat. Chicken. Oh, more blurred out again. <laughs> It's just the lighting is a bit dodgy in here, but delicious, super moist. Yeah, really good chicken in the rough. How 
is your pack from? Not, obviously, mackerel's quite a bony fish, yeah. but not lots of bones in it so far. <laughs> so, nice, yeah. generous portion of salad, loads of chips. Right, gonna leave it there. Just like uh, pretty much devoured the bulk of that chicken. Most of the chips, really, really delicious. Um, but I'm gonna save room for dessert. because there's uh, lots of people trying to eat and I don't want to be too intrusive with the camera but uh, this is basically their little bar set up with all their mead you, you pay here later on um, and basically it's just a, a really good sort of pirate-esque themed restaurant but again very busy here so um, like I said I don't want to be too intrusive with the uh, camera but uh, yeah that's basically it. Awesome, we've just put our um, dessert order in so I uh, can't wait I've got the death by chocolate well they call it here the chocolate challenge but you know it's a death by chocolate but that's what I got. Tilly's got a death by chocolate and ice cream yeah mine, mine came with clotted cream didn't it. AJ's going with some sort of ice cream dessert called a buzzy bee uh, or a busy bee something like that buzzy bee um, and Shelly is going with the peach melba. So yeah, can't wait for that to arrive. Nice. I didn't realise, Shelly, that you had your um your light up shoes on. I mean they are um they are something. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. <laughs> okay, that's that's awesome. So, what happens when your shoes run out of power? I charge them up and then they power on again. You charge them up? What, like, what sort of cable? You've got a like... USB. You've got a USB charging port. <laughs> Look at that. You can eat all of that. That looks amazing. <laughs> Right, so our lovely server bought us, or brought us, not bought us, bought us our dessert. So here we go, there's my um, death by chocolate with the clotted cream. You've got death by chocolate with ice cream. Get mine! That, that is amazing. You just, you've just chewed its wing off, but that you is... Fly away, then. That is amazing, I love that. And I've gone for the obviously healthy option. Yeah, because um, it's got peaches. It's got peaches in got it. Peach melba. So I've got a peach melba. Nice. And out of those um, new flavours of me, yeah. She's going to bring us a couple of little samples. So that'll be really nice. Yeah. Right, so this is the orange one. Right? The orange one, okay, go for it. Okay. Okay, is, what's that like? Hang on. <laughs> oh, you're going to, ooh, a little bit of a palate cleanse there. And then you're going to go now with the rhubarb. Ooh. That can break your socks off, that one. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it quite strong? Yeah, well, tastes. Tastes strong. All right, okay. Which um, so which is which? That's, that's the, the orange. That's the orange. Oh yeah, I can and see. And then that will be the rhubarb. Oh, right. The cherry. Right. So it's the orange one. Orange and ginger mead. Okay, I, I don't. Okay, that's all right. I don't mind that. Did you not like that? It's, so much? No, no, it's nice. But she's right. It's quite ginny in flavour. Quite ginny. Yeah, okay. Like if you have an orange gin, that that's not dissimilar. Yeah. All right. And the other one, <laughs> rhubarb flavoured. 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 <laughs> How much, how much mead have you had? Not that much. <laughs> I'm only acting for the camera, you know that. <laughs> um, so this is a rhubarb flavoured mead. Gosh, yeah, you can... It, it oh. feels like it tastes strong. It feels like it tastes strong. All I can see in the corner of my eye are your shoes that are flashing away at me. Flashing shoes down there. Oh, it's quite, it's very sweet though, isn't it? You can definitely, definitely tell it's rhubarb. <laughs> Yeah, all right. I, I quite like both of those. Do you, which did you prefer? Um, <laughs> I 
I'm trying to turn your shoes off. Trying to turn your shoes off. Okay. Trying to turn your shoes off. How weird does that sound? You're trying to turn your shoes off. Okay, the shoes are off. I, okay. So. I agree with our server. Actually, I bet the orange one with lemonade would be really, really nice. Yeah. That probably on its own. Yeah. Although I feel like a glass would be more than enough, probably the root one. Yeah, I, I, but as like a mead fizz, probably the orange. Yeah, I, I think I prefer the rhubarb. Definitely the rhubarb for me. Um, and I don't like really, really sweet drinks. But it's just quite sweet, but... but I think you need rhubarb on its own to be quite tart. Mm. So you kind of need to make it quite sweet to make it work. Mm. Yeah. All right, glad we tried those. And without any further ado, I'm going to get stuck into, as they call it here, the chocolate challenge. But I'll always call it a death by chocolate. It's a death by chocolate, isn't it? Um, that looks super delicious. And Matilda has practically finished hers. <laughs> and AJ, how's your bumblebee? Big thumb up. I thought that was a cat. I think it's a bumblebee. It's called Busy Bee or Buzzy Bee, something like that. <laughs> and how's your peach melba? Delicious. Delicious. Very well. We duck out the way and it will, I say focus, like I said the light is uh, not great in here but um, here it is, the chocolate challenge. You can't go wrong. Well, you can't go wrong if you're a chocolate lover. Um, I think if you don't like chocolate, it's pretty obvious. Um, but um, yeah, this is... Super duper. My other, um, my other dessert of choice here is the Mississippi mud pie because that is, um, I was going to say equally as good, it's almost equally as good, almost as good as the uh, Death by Chocolate, but um, usually, my, my go-to is usually this one. You, you're willing to um, change it up a bit and have different desserts, aren't you? Whereas I tend to stick to the same two. Yeah, but to be fair... Hang on. That's, that's true for almost everywhere we eat. What's that? That you go for a tried and trusted regular dish. Yeah. And I will try something different off the menu each time. Relatively true. Um, I mean, I, apart from the Thai restaurant. I mean, I've eaten in a, I've eaten in a meadery countless times, and I, I've never had anything else other than chicken in the rough. And why is my nose so itchy? Man, I just, I just love this. This is um, amazing. I like this little, this little decorative um, chocolate thing that's on top of the uh, clotted cream. Yeah, can't go wrong in my opinion. <laughs> I laugh at the chocolate challenge. server who's looking at the curtain. Well, that was delicious. Well, I absolutely love that. That, that was just... That's one of the best meaderies we've had in ages. That was really, really good. Tasty food people they're running by. Um, tasty food, great service. Um, found out a, bit, a little bit of info about the whole sort of situation with the meadery. So again, just to sort of touch back onto it, the, the council or like the Harbour's Board, which is all a part of um, Cornwall County Council, they have passed a motion that will basically end the contract uh, with the meadery, so basically they, they won't be able to renew their lease. The meadery which has been there for 52 years. 53 years it's been, in 1970 it opened as a meadery. Um, and then, you know, once the business is gone, the whole area will be bulldozed and redeveloped. Um, 
they are actually very positive. The, the staff are very positive in there that they will stay as a business because there's a huge amount of public support. Um, I, they were just very hopeful and very upbeat that they wouldn't lose this, ultimately this their is livelihood. Not for, for them, they're not rolling over and taking this as, a, as an end. No, no, um, they are fighting it to the, to the last. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, fingers crossed. I mean, I'm all for progress. Etc. Etc. But I, I don't know. I mean, when a business has been a successful business, you know, and people come far and wide, I think, to go to a meadery, and there's not that many left anymore. No. Um, so I, I think it is kind of important, really, that the waterside is is kept, or maybe even like somehow incorporated into the new development somehow. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, mean, I can't believe that, that it's the only solution is to demo it. I, I just the Cornwall Council, if you're listening. Cornwall Council, yeah. Just you, you know. Don't agree. Just think about your options <laughs> yeah just don't make a stupid mistake um but anyway we're gonna leave the video there um hope you enjoyed it i certainly enjoyed making that yeah and thanks to our server thank um, you to our server yeah i didn't was, catch her name but she was really really she good was brilliant um actually like i said they were all good they were all because i asked obviously could i roam around a little bit with the camera and they were they were yeah they were they were really accommodating um so that was good um don't forget, do all the usual YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, smash the bell and you'll never miss it on any program. Uh, any program? Any, well, I suppose it is a program. Uh, <laughs> I'm being put off by the, by the kids. On any video that we've On any video. I think my nose is still itchy. Don't forget, we're on social media. We are. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok, at the Bryce side. So check us out there. So from us to you, cheers and gone. And gone. Why is my nose so itchy? I'm stuck. Are you stuck, Age? Yeah. What are you I'm doing? Stuck trying to look at the sea. Look at the sea. How stuck. beautiful is that? What a beautiful setting for a meadery, which is just over there. Right, Did you enjoy that, kids? Stuck. Yeah. I don't think you're really that stuck, are you? Did you enjoy that, Tilly? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Okay, I... <laughs> okay, this is descended now into chaos.